version of Live and Let Die before they changed it. Oh, God. Tell us Before the they changed the Fuji rap album. Tell they us the story, my brother. Tell us the story. Well, you know, you guys already set it off with the Biz Markie. So you know that the Biz Markie situation was cold chilling. That's fly tie. That's cold chilling. Yes, sir. So now cold yes, chilling is under the light. They under the hot light. So now we got Biz, Biz Markie doing that. And then now we got Ice-T with the cop killer shit. So now they I'm going on to G-Rap right. crazy. So they going on G-Rap crazy. Like, what sound is that? That sound like... So they, they had a staff meeting where they put people in a room and see if they can figure out samples we didn't get cleared. So they went through the whole album on their own. It's like, oh, this sound right here, two minutes in, da da da, da. Sounds like this song. The song is not being cleared. Da, 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 da. You got to take it off. So we like, God damn. So they went hard on us. And then they took a year to put Live and Let Die out. But I got Live and Let Die album right now. I got the original album without the sample changes. And if you go listen to G-Rap on the internet, he'll, he'll give you that, yo, the niggas held my shit. They like, they like fuck G-Rap, like, for some reason. Dude. They like I held G-Rap my- album like it was a detox album. Like, they just kept on, kept on, you know, in, in today's time, that you can't hold a, a, a album that you have promoted more than two months. If a person, and we're saying back in them days, they held it for a damn near whole year. I didn't think the album was going to come out. When, But I still got the original version. So to all the fans out there, I will release the um, Coogee Rap, Live and Let Die, that got two extra songs on it. Oh, my God. It was two songs that they, they, didn't, uh, they, didn't let us, they didn't let me on the record. Man, one was called put that, one not permitted. Put that out. Go we ahead. in line and get that, brother. We in line. Oh, uh, right. But I know how That's to do right. it for real. So at the end of the day, I want you know I'm a team up with G Rap, and you know, and put the ball back in our hand, you know. But I'm working on other stuff right now, and that's really not in my focus. But at the end of the day, I've been doing some moving, going through my storage and stuff like that. So I've been finding all kind of gems and all kind of uh, dats. I got probably over 200 and some dats to go through um, to find, like, my old music and stuff. So that's how I found the Kooji rap um, um, with the masters, the A, B, A and B side. With it, with bullet in the head is different. The one with uh, um, number one with a bullet. That was with Kooji. I mean, that was a Big Daddy Kane. That song is even different. It's a few songs on there is different, and they tried to mix it without me because they didn't want to pay me no more. So I thought that was cold. They did G rap like that. Oh, that was foul, man. That and was, I gave them a the deal. And I gave them the, the best deal in the motherfucking world. And they still cut the dude. Can you hear me? Yeah, you good. Uh-huh. You back on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Jinx, because uh, something happened on my phone. I got cut. I got kicked out of the host queue, but I'm back in. I was about to say, dude, I will give you my address for you to mail me that original album. Because right. that ori- for those that don't know, because um, once again, we got to give a history lesson. Uh, for those, because it's, it's hard as hell to find now, and I thank the good Lord that I got all three of those re-releases back in 2007 and 2008 uh, from Cold Chillin', because you can't even find those things now. But the story nah. behind um, Live and Let Die is a saga in itself, because this is a time during the 1990s where gangster rap is really big. And um, right. this album was basically G-Rap going to the next level. Uh, I remember when I was younger back in 1992 and my cousin had it. And, um, uh-huh. you know, I knew about G-Rap prior to, but Live and Let Die was the album I absolutely fell in love with. I mean, Operation CB, Edge of Sanity, to the Shoot head. to the Head, number one with a bullet. I mean, yeah, I mean, the, uh, on the run, I mean, where you have that untouchable right. sample at first. I hey, mean, we got. Hey, I got to. I got to. Hey, look, I got to send a shout out to my man Matt. That um, that that song that run, run, run. He just passed yeah. away. So you know, 
Oh, shout man, out to my man. man. Peace. That song, that song on Kooji Rock Records. Yeah, but I mean that opening verse, he kicked on the run. I got a job with the mob making G's, doing some pickups, deliveries, and transporting keys. Yeah, they got me like a flunky. I'm riding around with some kilos inside my trunk, G, and I'm holding the suitcase with a half a million dollars right in my motherfucking face. And, and I'm half trying a million dollars a long time with ten million now. Man, I mean, the thought alone makes me it, shiver. Damn, what if I get caught and I'll be floating in the Hudson River? But if I escape, I'll be in shape for my life. But they might get my kid and my wife. I was like. I'm like, dude. So I mean, but the thing was, the al- yeah, but the album was so <laughs> controversial because of the cover itself and then the subject matter. I mean, because that was a hard record. Um, I mean, right. when he said still wanted dead or alive, he was like, the tricks ain't over, the battle ain't done yet. Get your ass out of town before sunset. Bullish your felt, got your runner for help. You get struck in my nine, it's still tucked under the belt. I'm like, I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ironically right. enough, that album has an anniversary coming up um, in two days, actually. For, yeah. for uh, Living Let Down? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what we need to do, hey, hey, what we need to do, uh, if we got any listeners out there, somebody mm-hmm. go and find who is putting this record out because it's not Warner Brothers and they not picking up the phone. But when that lawyer call, whoever has got this album, they're going to have some restitution to think about. So mm. they might want to be my friend now, and I can throw the money in the air and just say, give me my shit. Oh, I'm going to come to them with a legal situation and say, now you illegally put out my music. Fuck what Coochie Rap talking about. Mm-hmm. This is my music. So I, I yeah. give my music to Cold Chilling. So, so whoever put Coochie Rap out, Cause it's it's on the what you call? I swear to God, bro. I tried to put Coogee rap like the un unre- some unreleased and um 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 on the run, uh, a couple of uh, not on the run but uh home sweet home. Uh, I tried to put one of them on my SoundCloud and it got flagged, my nigga. Oh wow, it got flagged. And you the one that made huh? it? I mean, right, 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 right. So I, I mean, don't trip on that because. You know, we don't trip on small shit. You know, giants don't trip over small shit. So we just let it be there and let them be comfortable and then warn them. Like, hey, you know next week we're coming. So if you want to just figure it out and you listen to somebody, say, hey, bro, they on you because they was talking about it on the, uh, you know, on a radio show. Isn't it? We don't want no smoke because you're doing something illegal. And just because we don't have the money to chase you down or whatever, the Internet going to chase you down. And all I'm saying is I'm selling on the internet. What I'm selling that album on the internet. What did hmm? you all learn back in the day and even today, Jinx, about how the business is in reference 